All right, in this lesson, we're going to start creating our level that we're going to be using throughout these lessons to stage our dynamic effects, if you will. Okay, so sort of a test level upon which we can try out all of our karma effects. Right, something that, you know, we can start with. So let's create a quick level. It's just going to be a cube. It's not going to be anything complicated with ramps or anything, just a simple thing. Sure, it's all we need, really. Right. So let's right-click our cube. Let's make this a lot bigger so that we can have some room to play with. Uh, 512 sounds pretty good. That's a pretty big room. Yeah, it is. Wow, that is pretty big. So let's move this guy over. And let's subtract that guy out. Uh, that's pretty cool. Wow, nice and big. Plenty of room to play with. Let's select the bottom guy, and let's insert our player star. Okay. So there the guy is. And let's move around here. Let's move him to the corner so he has a starting position right about down here. And let's just rotate him just a little bit so that he's pointing towards the inside of the room. Right about there. That's looking pretty good. All right. And let's just make sure we line it up so he's on the ground. That's good. You don't want him to fall from the ceiling or anything crazy like that. No. And let's add a light right there. And that's really our level. Obviously, not exactly complicated. It's just a just a cube. Sure. So there it is. Nice lighting effects. All that we need. So what we're going to do is create two simple barrels and have... Th th these are karma actors. What they're going to be is karma actors. Okay. And they're going to have dynamic effects on them so they can... React with gravity, react with each other, react with the player, push them around, do all that kind of thing. So what you're saying is that a karma actor is going to be an object, in this case a static mesh in our scene, that is going to be affected by karma's physics engine. Right. Cool. So let's start off by going into the static mesh browser, and let's go into, let's load um, a new package up. Let's load the AW hardware package up, and down here we have the barrel. We're just going to use a barrel static mesh in this case because because it's cool. It can show off all the different effects of karma. Sure, we can take this barrel and sling it around the room and you know watch it respond to all of these various physics effects. Right. So with it selected, let's right click and we'll press add karma actor. So it's going to use the selected static mesh and insert that as a karma actor within our scene. In this case, this barrel. Right. Cool. So let's add that and it's kind of inside of our ground. Yeah, kind of passing through the floor in a scary sort of way. So let's move them up mm, over there. Let's go up here. Let's put them near the end of the room, give them some room to breathe. Let's right-click them, duplicate them, and let's move them up a little bit so that they're on top of each other so they can interact with each other a little bit. So you got a stack of barrels. Pretty cool. Yeah. Let's actually create two more just for the fun of it. Move him over here. It's always fun to have a lot of different barrels to play with. Let's move him near the ground. And finally, let's create a, um, excuse me, a weapon base so that we can have a weapon inside of our scene. Cool. So let's go into our actor browser. Let's go to the bottom, and let's create an X pickup base. And select X weapon base. Now we can click our floor, right click, and go into add X weapon base here. And that's created a weapon base. Let's move him over, put him into a nicer position than he's currently in. Maybe over here, that's pretty nice. And let's double click him, which will bring up our properties. Okay. And under X weapon base, let's change the weapon to, what do you say, Zach? Mm, I'm not sure. Really, let's just, something with a, with a nice kick to it. How something about we can shock use. rifle? Cool, I love the shock rifle. All right, so with the shock rifle, now we have a shock rifle. We have three barrels on our scene with a weapon, pretty much everything we need. Sweet. So, let's run this scene and see what happens. Awesome. So, let's start Unreal Tournament up. Wait for it. Yes. It's so slow. No, it's not that bad. We're no, already here. All right. And the first thing you'll notice Play. is that nothing seems to be happen happening. It's like all static meshes that are just standing there doing nothing. Yeah, actually kind of hovering over each other in a really spooky kind of scary way. Oh, very scary indeed. But look what happens when we shoot it. Now it suddenly started the karma reaction between the be, between the different actors in the scene. Yeah, I noticed the first barrel actually fell on the second one, and then that collision started triggering the effect of that second barrel. Now, looks like they're actually moving about. So, can we affect them now? 
Yeah, I mean, if we shot that one, that one started too. If we start shooting them around, you can see that they actually move around and you shoot them. All sorts of cool effects. Wow, pretty neat. We can actually take our gun. I mean, we insert it, our shock rifle. Yes. Shoot him around. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can kind of play in here forever, but we're not going to stay in here forever. Let's exit it out, and let's look at the options that are actually driving our barrels to not start when our level starts, not start reacting okay. when our level starts.